Can you hear it? Hey everyone, Chris Roma here, aka Roma Aquatics. This auto dosing pump can change your life for uh, this five five dosing pump was only seventy six dollars, and you only need two or three for what I'm about to share here. So basically, this dosing pump I'm using right now as to do my water changes which is super cool and i'm considering it for the shrimp room after i test it on uh, the salt water tank so basically what's going on right now is this pump right here that's where the light is on is running you can kind of see it spinning um, but it's pumping w water out of the tank so if we give me a minute i'll walk around the other side so this is the back side of where the doser is. Uh, here's an old fridge that I'm gonna remove, so don't worry about that. And here is my sump pump, which is super convenient. And what else is convenient is right above us is the salt water tank. Um, so we're right below the tank. Um, the sump pump is right here. So I'm draining, because you can see the water is draining into my sump pump, and then it gets pumped outside once it goes uh, long enough. Like I can, uh, pumps it up and out of the house uh, but basically that drive drips in here and that water is coming from that that spinning dosing pump now on the beautiful tank here we will go inspect closer and this is the line one of the lines coming up from downstairs uh, that blue one is the other one so this line right here is what's sucking water out and I could probably pull it out of the water and then you'll be able to see air. I'll put it back in, but see, you can see how air is coming in and then it'll fill back up with water. There goes the water. Um, it, that's why I love these types of uh, dosing pumps. If air gets in the line, it's no really, not really that big of a deal. It'll just keep going. Um, but this is the output line right here and the input line drips right there into uh, my surface skimmer and then it goes down into the filter. Um, so basically this output runs for about 40 minutes and it's about 4,000 milliliters, which is a little bit more than a gallon. So this is a 56 gallon tank and I have it set to run every day. Take 4,000 milliliters out and then 40 minutes later, another dosing pump kicks on that brings 4,000 milliliters into the tank it's my beautiful zoanthid collection i'm a little happy with them oh i love that's my pin cushion urchin it keeps everything nice and clean of algae i love that thing it's the best thing in my cleanup crew that i have love it love it love it but anyways back to the auto water change so it'll drop the water to slightly below maybe you know a quarter inch below this black and it's not enough where I need to turn off the skimmer or turn off the filter or anything like that. I could leave everything else running. Um, but basically, it'll uh, drain 4,000 milliliters of water. And then the other dosing pump, this one right here, will uh, turn on once this one turns off. And this one pumps water through the blue line back up into the tank, into the skimmer as I showed you. And this pump, the input line, runs through the ceiling through the fake ceiling here you can see there's that one they're both coming in through here running down here on off switch to turn it on and then over here is my salt water mixing bucket where i have 25 gallons of salt water stored into that bucket and then when i need to refill it i just turn that on and that comes from the directly from the roadie and then it'll fill up and then I have another line coming in here for fr straight fresh water for the auto top off. So that's why there's uh, two lines coming in here. One for the salt water, one for um, fresh water. And the other one's like this cable line that I don't use anymore because I don't have cable. Uh, but basically two RO lines coming in over here. This is the input for the salt. This is the input for the fresh water. This is the input from the tank, which is the output from the water change. And this is the bad water going to the sump. 
um, and both of these outputs go up to the tank. Obviously they get connected and I put up check valves here and then they go together into a splitter so I only have to run one line up uh, for salt or fresh regardless. The pump just kicked off and the return pump is starting and as you can see this is about as low as the water level gets. Uh, not very low. It's only draining a gallon. Um, so you can barely even notice unless you know what's happening. It's completely silent. Uh, so the stop sucking and it's starting to replace the water into the surface skimmer there. And as you can see it is replacing the water very slowly. Um, but in my opinion that's a fantastic thing. Um, fish, coral, shrimp, you name it. We're sensitive animals. Uh, we don't like change, especially fast change. Um, so it's really awesome that this happens. It takes about an hour and a half to do a one gallon water change, which sounds a little bit ridiculous, but to me that's a fantastic thing. Um, especially since it's only a 56 gallon tank. So seven of those one gallon tanks after a week is a pretty decent percentage, probably around 15%, I would say off the top of my head. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get lots of corrections on that. Uh, but anyways, that's it for this one, guys. I uh, hope you enjoyed it. I'd love to see and hear from you if you try this on any of your tanks. Um, the d dosing pumps are not at designed for this. Like, I don't think they're designed. Well, I may be wrong, but I don't think they're designed since you can... Actually, you can program it to go up to 4,000 milliliters, so I guess it is designed to do that. Um, but what I was going to say is, you know, you're normally dosing calcium, magnesium, alkalinity, or you're only doing like, you know, 10 to 30 milliliters. You're not doing thousands of milliliters. So we'll see how long these dosing pumps run for and before they uh, kick the bed. But I will keep you guys updated, and hopefully they don't kick the bed and they uh, run for a long, long time but you'll see. All right, see you later, guys.